So here we are, lasers and mental gems. Haha, -ha, it is muted. I did that at the end of the last stream so that I could boot the game without having to fuck around with muting and unmuting and then forgot I did that, which therefore meant that my clever plan for not having uh, problems with regards to jumping in and out of the game this time didn't go off. Didn't go off without a hitch, I guess. Didn't go off at all. Like a firework so that somebody's dog pissed on. So, uh... Select your character. Can I play Big the Cat? Yeah. It says he's unlocked, but I don't remember unlocking him. Oh, hi, Morik. And hi, Wuxfriv. Yes, it is very, very kind of me to play the video game for you all, and I hope you all will continue to enjoy the frankly absurd adventures of Sonic of Hedgehog. I'm Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't remember things. Tails made a new aeroplane called the Tornado 2. It's great, except that when it transforms, it has no landing gear. Anyway, we finally managed to board the egg carrier. This ship is really huge. It may take a while to find Amy. I suppose meeting the- I, di I didn't meet him the way I met the other assorted super cool animal people. Also, where did Tails go, exactly? This is not- uh, this is not a terrain that is, uh, overburdened with a surfeit of, uh, ground cover, you know? So, I'm looking forward to trying out some of the other characters. Oh, it's this guy again. You haven't seen the power this vessel really has! Get a load of this! Are all of the accoutrements of this spaceship intended to look like little cartoon faces? Oh wow! It's changed shape! Did you see that? Tails, your plane's changed shape! Makes it harder for us to get to the bridge. I hate it when he doesn't listen. <laughs> I bet you weren't expecting this. The only way you can get to me is through the sky deck. I doubt if you can figure this one out. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, I'll show you. Bring it on. Ah, yes, the sky deck, home to our lovely. Uh, an extremely well-appointed, you know, observation lounge, and, uh, you know, we have musical performances on Fridays, and, uh, it's probably way, the easiest way to access the pool on this cruise, you know? I wasn't expecting it to just let me go back to the previous area, insofar as it has done so. Let's see. So we know why the, we know, well, we don't know why, but there is a magic fairy that's following Sonic around giving him hints, but what's the explanation for these magical, completely science-based informational screens? They seem like they're just an aspect of society. Also, I was expecting to get to smash these. Oh yeah, Big Cube is super important. We all love Big Cube. I know the last time I went on a cruise, I spent the entire time at Big Cube. My parents were like, it cost us £2,000. Okay, actually, because I have posh voice and it sucks, even though I'm genuinely, actually, for realsies, half-working class, I guess, this sort of. I'm poor. I'm poor deck. as hell. Um, but I've never been on a cruise. I've never even slightly had a fraction of the possibility to go on a cruise. And frankly, I don't see the appeal. Oh, okay, I can see why they call it the Sky Deck. I'm not entirely sure that it's a deck, per se. Uh, it's a little bit, uh, it's all a little bit Death Star up here. Which is inappropriate for the egg carrier rather than the Death Egg, which is very Death Starry. You know, as far as we're comparing the Death Starriness of various different. Wow, is it just me, or is the music and visuals of this level like a migraine waiting to happen? Mm -hmm. 
still, it feels a little bit more Sonic-y than some of the other uh, open but not particularly interested in letting you do Sonic things levels. It does at least have occasional bursts of moving forwards that, you know, occasional bursts of rolling around at the speed of sound, you know, because you've got places to go and you've got to follow your rainbow. These are very important, uh, very important things when you're a hedgehog. See, I do, I have, one of the things about being me is that I am the epitome of that one Adventure Time gif where the Displacer Beast is like, I have approximate knowledge of many things. So I have a great deal of knowledge about the Sonic, Sonic of Hedgehog universe and setting and industrial history. Um, much more so than any layperson. However, I know a lot less than any of anyone who's like actually had a mildly unhealthy teen interest in the in the matter. This is a uh, true of most of the things I've cared about in my life. I always learn exactly enough to um, look like I know what I'm talking about to someone who doesn't know what we're talking about. Are we going up? Warning. Intruder alert. Power cannons. Standing by. To deactivate the cannons, use the rocket located on the stepladder near the fourth pillar. Now, that seems like inefficient engineering to me. Hey, uh... You didn't install an off switch for the giant laser death cannon. I don't intend to ever switch it off. Okay, but you know, it is sensible to have contingency plans in case of emergency, like a blue hedgehog starts causing problems. Well, uh, we've got spare rocket launchers. So I guess ultimately the problem, big thing is blowing things up, can be solved with the solution of blow up the big thing blowing things up. Um. Which is probably... I mean, that's a more American outlook than I'm really comfortable adopting, frankly. So, if you want to have uh, a 3D platformer that is designed so that the... Um... Wait, is this how I got here in the first place? Am I going back the way I came? Anyway, if you want to have a 3D platformer uh, with 3D movement, you need a relatively static camera that keeps relatively far away from the character, or for that char for that camera to be completely under the player's control. Um, if you uh, want it to be relatively linear, then you can have the camera naturally follow the player. Um, with what in later years became known as uh, 2.5D, where essentially the camera swings around, but you're, you, the player, are kind of always operating on a single single 2D plane. That works better. And I think one of the major flaws of the Sonic Adventure games is that they tried to do both simultaneously, so uh, the camera will very often just immediately swing you around and point you in a different direction to the direction you were expecting to be pointed in a second era. Uh, this is a complaint I've had before, but I feel like it's worth mentioning. Because I think uh, the, the wacky fun times camera is definitely a problem with this. See, all of this could just lock you to a single 2D plane and have you sprint along and have the camera swing wildly around as you move. And that would be fine, and it would feel fine and great and be a completely normal way to do this kind of game. Um, but instead, the direction in which you're moving keeps changing abruptly. Yes. Wait, how did I get up here? We're on top of the Eggy Boy now. Strong winds will blow you off course. When the ship increases speed, hang on to something. I think I'm missing something. Oh, there we go. Ah, the homing attack. The single greatest addition of the 3D Sonic Adventure and or 2 battle otherwise games. Really does let you feel like a small hedgerow creature. Uh, granted incredible destructive power for reasons that I'm finding myself surprised I never thought to ask about in the past. 
I know that depending on which Sonic canon you care about, the origin of Sonic's powers vary. Sometimes he was experimented on in Robotnik's laboratory, sometimes he has magic shoes <laughs> that make him very fast, which is one of the reasons why he is an almost naked hedgehog, but not quite. Vaguely uncomfortably. Well, half the time, half the time he is just like that. However, uh, frequent frequent commentator Icarus is uh, has been informing me all afternoon of the completely absurd fact that apparently all Sonic games take place in the same continuity unless explicitly stated otherwise. Which means that the original 2D games and the 3D games are not in separate continuities, as I had thought, despite the fact that characters frequently speak in ways that imply very heavily that they are. It's extremely strange to me that they've chosen to make the consistent s explosion sound effect noise throughout this video game a noise that I am deeply familiar with as porridge squish sound effect from every children's cartoon that ever existed. Uh, anyway, what the hell was I talking about? Oh, I can go in here. That's cool. Doesn't look like there is anything. I wonder if this secret's hidden for me to find. That would be a very video games thing to do, wouldn't it? Anyway, uh, I've got a headache caused by the fact that the crown on one of my teeth is coming off because my fucking clown of a dentist, and the absolute quack of a dentist has been screwing me over for about six months now. Um, it's starting to feel intentional at this point, but um, here I am, and here you are, and here we all are together, attempting to explore the latest in a long series of egg-themed... Now that I think about it, it's strange that people did, weren't already calling Eggman Eggman before this game. Which is apparently the case. We've established that Sonic the Hedgehog apparently, canonically, just forgot about all the other times where uh, Robotnik has dedicated himself to destroying that hedgehog! As the iconic line from the Saturday morning cartoon went. Well, not the Saturday morning cartoon, the other Saturday morning cartoon. There's definitely secrets in uh, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, which I like to think is kind of a slightly more descriptive title than Sonic Adventure games normally get. Sonic Adventure, why is he adventuring? Why to battle, of course. The music is pretty good, though. I'll give it... Uh, hmm. Okay. Camera? Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, so I appear to have trapped myself in the wall dimension, which will happen relatively frequently in Sonic Adventure games. Oh, hey, I smashed a thing. Did I? No. Anyway, I think the, uh, I think the biggest sin that these games can- Oh, these aren't just one waddling back and forwards. I thought that they were being moved around for, you know, any of the reasons why big giant crates in video games move around, but it's it's swaying with the motion of the of the spaceship. That's pretty cool. Or airship? Air carrier? Super carrier? Egg carrier, I suppose, is what it is. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think that the, the real kind of like unforgivable sin that uh, this game commits is that it is um... Well, you know, apart from all the camera problems, is that it is a Sonic the Hedgehog game which constantly makes you stop. Um, you know, one of the real joys about the original Sonic the Hedgehog games is that you were fast and you felt fast. You really felt like you were moving at a, at a clip. Like, um... oh hey. <laughs> hmm. 
If you get it, if you get it just right, he just. Ah, I love it. Um, I love it when models don't move, but are moved nevertheless. Huh, I seem to have broken collision. Anyway, um... I sure was talking about something. Do not ask me what it was. But yeah, no, so the major problem is just that uh, the real joy of those games was that you could go really, really fast. There was a genuine sense of momentum. Um, and interestingly, part of the reason for that was that on the uh, Mega Drive Sonic games, um, like his his kind of speed was uncapped in some way, so he could actually travel a lot faster than the game designers had intended, um, and in fact, a lot faster than uh, than the the game's like rendering system could keep up with. Which means you could actually outrun uh, outrun the camera, and it would lag behind slightly at the very fastest parts of the game, which is really cool. Um, But, uh, yeah, yeah, there is this... Level C, again. I'm starting to suspect that's the only option for me. Declared C rank. How tragic. Is that it? It might be. But let's check out the bridge. But, yeah, so... Um... Generally speaking, you, there was a, the, you were always able to get this really good sense of momentum really quickly. And it felt like a productive sense of momentum, like you were doing something clever and skillful. Uh, you can move pretty fast in this game, but the levels are not constructed for you to really get the feeling like you're going at, you know, a thousand miles an hour, rolling around at the speed of sound, with places to go to follow your rainbow. The hot shelter entrance is closed. The hot shelter is the nightclub on the same cruise ship as the sky deck. Do not enter. Oh, he really does put faces on everything. It's delightful. If nothing else, the visual design and iconography design of the Sonic games has always delighted me. Like, just robot animals for villain henchmen. It, why not? That's great fun. Big, grinning uh, robotic faces on everything. Even better. The monorail is still out of service, apparently. People do need to get to work. Um, also, Icarus, I wish I was a C-rank C rank streamer. I think you will find I am something like... What's like... How, do, how, far, how far down do celebrity ranks go? You've got A, B, C, D. But then it skips past E and it goes right to Z, right? Sonic! Why does he want her anyway? Ah, okay. Well, that's the answer to this question. A Chaos Emerald. No way. Oh, okay. This bird just had one. I have a, I have a, hmm. I have a what sneaking suspicion. Robotnik? Oh, I like the voice on this guy. Sonic make the jerk off hand gesture constantly. It seems really rude of him, especially to this robot. Now, um, as is only natural for me, I feel an intense and instantaneous empathy with any robot that speaks with a sort of a endearingly formal tone of voice. So I'm really going to regret murdering this thing if, I, if indeed I have to murder it. It sounds to me remarkably like the voice of the Puppet Master from 
seminal cyberpunk classic Ghost in the Shell by Mamoru Oshii. Is that it? <laughs> That's it? Stop it Sonic. Yeah, don't bully the poor thing. You clearly massively outclass it. Fun fact, I also make a beep boop sound when I get hit. I assume that's filled in in her story. <laughs> hey, this ship is losing altitude. Hurry, Tails. Take Amy and get out of here. Well, what about you? I'll find that Eggman and put him out of commission. I can see why they wanted to go for this sort of rashomon structure, where you get parts of the story from different people at different times, uh, and you play through the story six times to see different perspectives on what happened, but it does make the actual experience of play basically just a whole bunch of stuff that happens. It sure is a sequence of events that occurred in a linear order with little rhyme or reason connecting them. Um... But also, the, the inexplicable birdie which which had a Chaos Emerald, I am gonna assume is is one of the Flickies from Sonic uh, Sonic 3D Flickies Island, which was a uh, 3D rendered, um, but like uh, isometric 2D uh, platformer on... Oh, cutscene straight into cutscene. Why did you even bother letting me run around? I need to change this ship back to its original shape. There must be a switch somewhere on the bridge. I've got to find it now. Eggman really does seem to be cool with just like abandoning his various his various inventions and structures and super carriers and death robots whenever he feels like it. Wait, hang on. What was all that shit that shit previously in the previous room about like this room is locked. This room is locked. Blah, 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 blah. I assumed there was going to be a whole thing of... And there was like a puzzle I could have solved? Why didn't I solve the puzzle? <laughs> I forgot there was a puzzle because I was presented with a big Eggman to chase. Oh no, I'm as bad as Sonic. Oh no. I can't believe that I... <laughs> I've been dunking on this moron. This, this endearing, very speedy fool. And yet here I am committing the exact same crimes. I do want to see if I can find something. See if I can solve that mystery. I don't know how I'm going to get back there though. <gasps> oh my god. See, why is there all this stuff? If you follow the path the game directs for you, you miss out on this, like, beautiful vaporwave paradise. and secret underwater doors, which I assume I need to unlock somewhere else. See, I get that it's an adventure game, but the problem is all of its levels are structured like, I don't know. Maybe it's me, maybe the problem is me and I'm just not engaging with this game on the on the level that it wants to be engaged with, but it hasn't it hasn't encouraged me to engage on it with it on its proper level. I talked to all of the NPCs in the first zone and nothing happened, and therefore I assumed it was all flavor text. I feel, hmm, maybe I'm digging my hole a bit deeper. Maybe this is all down to me. Well, now, bear in mind, um, this is Dr. Robotnik we're talking about. Uh, I don't, it doesn't make sense to me that he would have a swimming pool that wasn't also a death trap. Go to the captain's room. I don't want to go to the captain's room. I want to go to the cool puzzle room that I missed. Was it down here? Hi, cringe master. I don't know if you're someone I know, and I also don't know... Really, I mean, Super Laser Piss could easily... Wait, is this a reference to Sonic? Is this... Hang on a second. 
My stupid overactive pattern recognition brain is tingling. Is this a reference to that? Why did that drop a pan on my head? To that internet thing. What is it? Is it the fan dub thing? Is that what I'm thinking of? I've never watched that, but there is a there is a big super piss laser. Or is it just a shit post someone made? I don't know. But the association with the super piss laser, I believe, is from footage which, take, which takes place in the second game. What about G? That's a smaller pan. Oh, I'm gonna have to make this say Eggman, aren't I? So I need this to say... I need this to say E. Egg. Eggnamg. Eggnamg. Uh... The difficulty with figuring out how to solve a puzzle is I'm not entirely sure what I'm changing when I do stuff. Oh. Okay, that one's right, I guess. EG. Oh, I <laughs> okay, I've solved it. EGG. M. A. N. That was a lot easier than I was making it. I assumed I had to rearrange them so that they were already in the shape of Eggman. Eggwood Manningson. Reveal unto me your secrets, Egg Room. Is this going to be another uh, Chow Garden? It is a Chow Garden. Does this mean Eggman has a secret Chow Garden? Does everyone in this world have a Chow Garden except me? Yot. Wake up, wake up, wake up. I want to make you be animals. Also, fun fact, my terrible stream manager has already disconnected and I have no idea if anyone is saying anything, and if so, what they're saying. Because, uh, my phone is busted. And because I am terrible, I did not, in fact, do the thing I said I was going to do and set up a second screen as a stream manager. I'm still using my phone propped up on my desk like a fool. Like an idiot, perhaps. What if I jump on it with my sonic powers? So for anyone who doesn't know what the deal is here, in Sonic Adventure, um, they introduced the Chow, which are these adorable, squidgy little creepy baby things. Um, and there's basically like a, a virtual pet mini game, which can be accessed from any of the game's major levels. In Sonic Adventure 2, or indeed possibly just Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, but probably both of them, um, there's a single kind of Chow Garden zone that's accessed it from any level, but in this one they all have uh, they all have different links to different Chow zones. Anyway, uh, if I can break open one of these eggs somehow, a Chow will pop out. And if a Chow pops out, you can uh, feed it animals. Hey, there it is. Come with me, you little fuck. Get down from up there. Daddy Sonic says playing on the enormous unexploded bomb is unsafe. Now come with, come with me, you little creep. <laughs> right. Where did all my animals go? There we go. So, this is a chow. Now we have solved the problem. You can pet the little bastard. Gently rubbing his balls, which is a joke I made the first time I came here. <laughs> um, okay, I think this guy looks stinky, so let's give him this. So the animals that you give to a chow give it various aspects of that animal. So you can give it little wings or, you know, a unicorn horn if you find a unicorn or parrot wings if you give it a parrot or whatever. And these increase its stats and then its stats can be used to do mini games. Because this is a game from 2002, I think. And that's the kind of stuff they did back then. Anyway, supposedly this is a fun, like, uh, virtual pet minigame. You can grow them over time, you, you can make them do various different competitions or whatever. I, one of these is one. And I think there's a race. I can't remember what the other one is. Um, but because being in one of these places is tantamount to literally actually giving me an immediate headache, I want to get the fuck back out of here. Frankly. Frankly. I think I'm going to leave these chow to, to Eggman. But it is nice to see that there is this shared moment of human to hedgehog connection between Sonic and Eggman, where um, it's quite clear that uh, 
the two share an interest in weirdly gendered robot butlers. Can I smash this one? Why can't I smash this? All of Eggman's robots are powered by enslaved tiny animals. The reason I smash most of them is to let the little animals out. Why can't I... What's wrong with these ones? Sonic the Hedgehog, not okay with um, self-directed death machines, but completely fine with indentured labor, I guess. Anyway, uh, I'm going to take advantage of this second right here, right now, to say hi, if you aren't already. Uh, if you don't already know, I have a YouTube channel where I do in-depth Let's Plays, although it's sort of low-key slightly on hiatus at the moment. Also, you should give me a follow here or there. I do, uh, like, in-depth, carefully researched and planned, like, critical analysis Let's Plays. Okay, someone... Some of you guys have, have mod powers, so someone delete that, or I will. Let's see. Boom, there it is. Uh, anyway, so... It was, I'm sure there were more doors to unlock down here. How do I open these ones? Do not enter. That's where he keeps his pawn, which is the most obvious possible joke I could have made, and I wish I'd been smarter, frankly. Anyway, uh, anyway, yes, yeah, so I have a YouTube channel where I do stuff, and on here I do, you know, uh, less critical, less well thought out Let's Plays, where I just do a full gameplay playthrough over time. So yeah, give me a follow and check me out in different places, and that's all. I, I don't know if these are just flavor text or if it's actually possible to get inside. I feel like I should, this super looks... Oh, hang on. I think I've I think I've answered. I think I've answered my question now. I think I figured it out. I bet that when you play as Amy, you can smash these with a hammer because she's got a magic hammer. Because again, it's like 2002, and hammer space was still a concept in the pub in the sort of nerdy public consciousness. Also, my flatmate has just wandered into the room with a drawing of a chow looking up with big soulful eyes, saying "I love you, heart." Which is very adorable, but concerning, considering she came home from work early with a goddamn concussion. Go lie down! On the other hand, looking at chows is probably the most healthy thing to do when you have a concussion. They are very adorable, but the the music in the chow levels in this game... Um, just being in there for as long as I was to explain the nature of... Um, if you turn this switch on, wings will appear on the floor. Hmm, yeah, I did actually know about that mechanic already. That was established quite a long time ago. I will put the picture on my Discord server, which is the other thing I forgot to mention. If you want, like, advance notice of stream schedules and stuff, I have a Discord server for that. Uh, I am sure that she will post it there, or if she doesn't, I will. Is this... I'm starting to think that this is a lot more levers than Sonic of Hedgehog was expecting. Why is there a weird sort of steampunk motif up here? It seems like it was, uh, like, cool hyperspace super tech previously. Hmm. Oh, there's a button. Why is the button to transform the spaceship hidden underneath the pilot's control chair? Oh god, I wish I had a giant steampunk gaming chair. I'm sit I've am been sitting in a in a kitchen chair this entire time and uh, it's doing my back no favours, I will tell you that for free. Robotnik ran away toward the front of the ship. Hurry up and catch him! I'm sure he has gone and done... Why is he even- like, why would he even still be here? It's been like 10 minutes I've been fucking around. Mystery door. Anyway, I'm sure I had other things to say about things, but my brain is completely fucking just dead so. Uh, Chronic 2 thinks I'll do that to a person. Oh, hang on, if I transform the ship, where will this take me now? Egg carrier, egg carrier, carry me egg. Monorail's running now? Great, okay. 
Where's this call button you... Hmm. Eggman is the only human person who, who, who makes any use of his vast array of things. Is this... And he never gets out of his little Scooty Puff Jr. flying chair. I'm not entirely sure he needs a monorail system is what oh, I'm getting no. at. Not again. How often does this happen Chaos. to you, Sonic? Could this be the same beast? <laughs> oh yes, attack Sonic now! Froggy? Oh, it's this guy. Froggy. If he's your friend, I'll help you. Just leave it to me. Bruh, how did you get here? <laughs> Now I have six of the Chaos Emeralds. There's only one more left to find. I even found Chaos's missing tail. You won't get away with this, you madman. I will. You're no match for Chaos, even though he's not perfected yet. Okay, Chaos, destroy them all immediately. Wow, Sonic, you fucked up so bad. He got all like five of the gems you tried to protect and then like another another several off screen that you didn't even know about so i guess that's what he's been doing this whole time hmm. can i fuck up eggman instead or maybe i need to make it hit the spikes I will say it's not entirely clear what you need to do to beat things in, in this game very often. Bosses or otherwise. Wow, the sound design here is amazing. The finest foley effects that could be produced by a man with a chopstick and an open mouth. I generally try to avoid using words like psychopath or whatever because they tend to be pathologized things that perhaps shouldn't be or in ways that shouldn't be, but he's definitely not a nice man and he is a man who behaves extremely peculiarly. There it is again, that exact same foley work of just kind of going into a microphone. Can I yeet this at you? What do they do? Oh, okay, I can throw them, which no doesn't... Way. I can't believe this. Aha, okay. So if I throw these at it, it freezes? No I can't believe this. And then we can go smishy-smashy. Which is a curious interaction, as far as physics are concerned, no including the cartoon physics of this. <laughs> it's three times now, Robotnik. You better start believing it. Maybe, perhaps, doing the same thing over and over again, even though it's causing your greatest opponent to easily cause problems for you, is a is a problem that is endemic to the people of this world, because that's both Eggman and Sonic who've been doing it. Turnabout is fair play, and it's about time that Sonic the Hedgehog got to turn Eggman around. Let's end that sentence there. No way! I can't believe this! And that's five. Sonic. Oh, you're here hey as well. There, Glad you finally made it. I thought you got lost or something. Until we meet again, Sonic. Stop. Come back here. Team Eggman's blasting off again! How are we always over this one point in space? Ah, I hate Eggman! Where's this? Yeah, good question, where is this? Oh wait, is that like an echid- that's an echidna statue. That's cool, I guess. Since the echidnas are canonically like the ancient super- super special magic guys. 
which I can't remember if was a plot point introduced in the comics by Ken Penders in the first place, or if it's just something that he ran with for decades. That light. Well, not I decades. Trying to show me something. Uh, doing all sorts of pe extremely peculiar um, monkey with a typewriter writing feats. Hmm. Oh, is this where is this where the other Echidna Tikal shows up? I'd forgotten all about her because she's only in it for like two seconds in the sequel. Um, I don't. I will be interested to see how much of the sort of like backstory and plot are filled out in the other characters' storylines in the game because, um, at this point, like, I what I need to do is find someone who can tell me. Icarus, I'm looking in your direction. If uh, well, I thought Tikal was in it in outside of the, the multiplayer. I think Tikal is from the the comics, right? Is there an overlap in the canon between the comic books and the and the games? Because I thought that was like the one hard and fast rule of Sonic continuity. Not that I care about continuity. I think, and I think the idea of playing a video game series that does extremely different and contradictory things all at the same time and still saying, "Yeah, this this is all the same guy," uh, is kind of delightful. But oh, don't mind if I emblem. I don't know what the emblems are for. I think there's a. I know there's I know that there's like a secret bonus endgame boss. Is this where Knuckles lives? Um But I don't think you have to get all the get all the emblems to unlock it. Yeah, this is this is Director's Cut, which I have not played. I have only played Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, which is the director's cut of the second game. Hmm. There's definitely mystery mystery magic keys up here for me to fill in. I assume those are around just just around. <laughs> like they were way back when we were first in the, the mystic field or whatever it's called. Oh, uh, okay, you unlock the Game Gear games, fair enough. I know they were added in DX, but uh I am not going to try and find every single goddamn emblem. I am going to play through this game. Story mode for each character, start to finish, until I'm done. Oh hey, you didn't die, congratulations. I've entered a jungle that never ends. Oh, but it's cool. This man is dealing with this much, much healthier than the vast majority of actual real world European explorers who went wandering off into jungles that never ended. Um. You know, this man's experiencing his own heart of darkness and he's having a lovely time. I love Sonic's ladder climbing animation. Aha, interesting. I bet this takes me back to the other place. The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. Team Chaos are in like one of the like one of the weird side games, I think, and then they show back up in Sonic Heroes, but uh, I don't think they started out in Heroes. Since the first party still hasn't returned, we're gonna send out another party. I hope they're okay. This sounds like just an endless succession of men sent into the meat grinder. Now how do I get that? Is that available? Is there a button? Oh, that's a button. Aha, it is yoted an egg for me. Eggy, eggy, eggy. You did tell me how to get that earlier, but you forget that I have moderate to severe ADHD and had already forgotten what it was you said I had to do. Eggy, 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 eggy. Still, I appreciate you egging me on. Uh... It turns out you knew ex exactly what I needed to do. Um, anyway, um, 
I'm going to let this thing out of its uh, silvery imprisonment if I can. I think... I think the way you wake up a chow has some effect on its personality, because they do have this sort of low-key, stimulated, basic personality thing. And yes, the puns. You will, if you give me a follow, uh, eventually discover that I make stupid fucking puns all the time. That was, in fact, one of the original draws of my YouTube channel. Um, which I say not to advertise it, but simply because it's true. I used to... Fun fact, uh, due to presumably COVID brain damage, I can't make puns like I used to. I used to, like, something people learned about me in real personal life was, was that almost everything I said would be a pun of some kind or another. It was just a very particular way that my, my brain functioned. I could just make puns extremely easily and with great facility and to uh, my own amusement, if no one else is. And now it's just gone. It's just broken. I just don't pun very much anymore. I'm really interested in this strange mountain, but we've got to continue looking for the ruins. I did go to the mountain previously and it had the Master Emerald, with which I could not interact in any way. I've forgotten where the Chow Garden is in this zone. Is it this way? Oh, hey, I can smash that now. I forgot. I forgot that I now have the special ability of, of break these things specifically. Or indeed, break the game. Ready. Let's see. Let's try that again. Am I supposed? Hmm. I was definitely able to break one of these out in the outdoors pretty easily. I feel like I'm asking to get clipped through the clipped through the wall and fall to my death. Okay, this thing is beyond my power. Eggy. Oh no. My son! What's happened to my son? <laughs> it's the end of his existence! Maybe he'll be... Maybe I'm just exaggerating. That's another egg pun. <laughs> and he's back in his... back in his hole. There he is. Exactly where I expected him to be. Wait, I already did it exactly, didn't I? Anyway, uh, hmm. Is it the minecart? But there was, uh, multiple minecarts, right? Minecart in this cave? I have to be very careful about going into the Chow Garden because the psychic damage it inflicts on me is so vast. Anyway, I have qu I've had quite enough of yoking about egg puns, so... Um... So Al <laughs> albumin movement being on. Album album albumin being on. Does that work? Is that something? If it is, I'm extremely proud. Um, <laughs> I love the way they crawl on their bellies. Genuinely, I'm not particularly susceptible to things being cute, but... And I don't particularly have any interest in the chow in general, but when they crawl on their bellies, that's fucking adorable. Shaky, 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 shake. Nothing? Holding X just makes me put it down again. Oh, aha! Aha, 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 aha! Don't shake the baby. Don't shake the baby. How much shaking does it take to wake up a chow? Because, you know, my, uh, my, my psychological load is, is getting pretty fucking high. I'm going to experience a mental break if I have to be in this place for much longer. Does anyone actually like 
Does anyone actually like this music? Like, loud and inescapable and on a very, very short loop. No, you know what? Fuck it. I didn't get a happy up upbringing. Why should I chow? Out you come, fucko. Congratulations. Meet your equally miserable brother. Frowny. Meet Shiny, I guess? Those are terrible names. If you pick up uh, if you pick up the eggshell, you can put them on, put it on them as like a cool hat, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Hat. Don't you dare throw that away. No, no, you're going to put it on. You're going to be adorable. I'm going to get so many points on Instagram. All of the other mothers are going to be so ashamed. God damn you, Frowny. Put the fucking hat on. No, no, not you. You're already shiny. Maybe if I rub his ball. Alright, I'm donezo. Bye. I like to imagine what the physical consistency of them might be. What do they feel like to touch? I imagine them very similar to those. The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. Oh shit, can I go home? Can I just go back to Station Square and abandon these dipshits to their apocalyptic situations? See, I don't think of them as firm but squishy marshmallows. I think that they would feel very, very much like. Did you ever have any of those, like. Sort of like Beanie Babies, except that they had, like, um, rubber skin. There was, you know, you, they're the kind of toys that you find huge vats of in, in, in dollar stores or whatever. Or pound shops, as we call them here, but I can't say pound shops without all the Americans watching immediately bursting into giggles. Anyway, um, instead of beans, they're usually full of sand. They're like, they're like adorable squishy little paperweights, and there's a very, very particular and peculiar sensation to thrusting your fingers into them. Um, very good stim if you're a certain kind of autistic. That is, in my opinion, exactly what they feel like. Yeah, sure is a lot going on in this town and it's three streets and 17 Maseratis, which is not... I sort of think Maserati is the only, like, fancy car name I can think of on the fly. My husband's an adventurer. He's probably still at the Mystic Ruins. I wonder if he's found any ancient artifacts yet. I didn't think Adventurer was still a title people really had. Hey man, are you real? Like, are you a for realsies person? Bigger is better, that's what I think. Is this man talking about... No, he couldn't be. In a Sonic game? I wonder if Jimmy69 the taxi man is still about to run me over. Boom, fuck off, there he is. <laughs> Every time, without fail. He's waiting for me, I swear. Why is there a town hall if I can't go inside? I want to meet the mayor. I want the mayor to have to say with his goddamn human face, Sonic the Hedgehog, a large ambulatory bright blue magical hedgehog, I need you to save this city from an evil scientist. Aha, this is what I'm looking for. Oh shit. <laughs> As a real person walking along a real street might, I did not pay attention to the open manhole and have now plunged into a stinky, stinky fate. Here in the sewers. I suspect, <laughs> I suspect I'm not going to be able to remove him. I can't double jump or jump very high. This is it, this is the end for him. You will stand here forever, shin deep in what I assume can only be human excrement. A truly tragic end to the man who could not move.
Anyway. Hey man, you don't want to know what's back there. I may have... If you real, if your wife says, hey, why do your legs smell so bad? At some point in the near future, you're going to need to look her straight in the eye and say, a moment with a sympathetic connection that is very strong has been dumped in the sewer forever. I will always have stinky leg. It is inescapable. The deep tragedy of traditional witchcraft is that you can do this shit by accident. Why am I even here? What even is there left to do? What's in cyberkinetic? I know we went here in the past, but I can't for the life of me remember what was even inside this building. Oh, okay. Oh, it's this thing. Okay. I get to do a, a bonus second version of this 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 cool level. Probably the best level we saw so far since it does all of those design things that I've been talking about, you know. It does the design things that worked for this Sonic the Hedgehog video game. And it doesn't do so much the things that really didn't work and were terrible for this Sonic the Hedgehog game. Sonic, nay Hedgehog. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog was my father. I'm merely Sonic Hedgehogson. Uh, I, I do kind of know where I need to go, and it's Mystic Forest. Um, I'm just wandering around because, you know, ouch. Because uh, what is life if you don't take the time to smell the roses? If you don't take the time to violently assault police robots? Or possibly police humanmen? It's hard to tell. Oh no, they have little men- they have little animals inside. They were human people. They were not human people, rather. There is- like, yes, there is more to do in Mystic Ruins. However, I'm just curious, since I spent the first half or two-thirds of this adventure game not understanding that it was an adventure game with NPCs to talk to and different areas to explore and instead zipping through the main story bits. I kind of- I kind of feel like I have to at least- I have to at least explore a bit more. There was, in fact, a pink bunny, because the robots are all powered by trapped animals. Uh, why, I'm not entirely sure. I think maybe it was originally the cannon that... Uh, like, the, the, like... Explanation in the... Manual to, like, Sonic the Hedgehog 1 or something said that he, he was using their, like, bioelectricity, or... Possibly their purely magical power, because... Uh, Mobius is a magical world. This ain't Earth, for all that it looks like Earth. Um... Anyway, uh, so yeah, he's using he's using animals to power his robots. Oh, excuse me. No! Oh, hey, there's a secret with a ton of cool stuff on it. What a tragedy that it required me to die to discover it. it says. Oh god damn it! I'm forgetting all of my cool classical references. Who the fuck was the guy with the stupid name who supposedly sought and or found the Fountain of Youth? So yeah, um, the downside to it not being 2.5D and instead being full 3D, like they could have made a really good 2.5D game with all this up and down and around and about. Uh, the necessity to change your action according to which way the camera suddenly is now pointing is part of the problem. If you, generally speaking, if you keep pushing forwards, you keep moving forwards uh, in whatever the direction the game wants you to think forward forwards is. is um, The problem you run into is when you also bump into... when you drop the controller on the floor. Ponce de Leon, that is in fact who I was thinking of. Motherfucker. My brand new Xbox controller, I just just gave a little bit of an over overexcited knee jiggle and um, dropped it on the fucking floor like an idiot. Major flaw, <laughs> major flaw with this section is that the default position for the uh, pop-ups that, that show you what power-up you just grabbed they appear in front of you, in front of the center of the screen, while you're going vertically, which means that they block where you're heading, so you can't you can't see anymore. Just just 
this this game was full of ideas being pelted vigorously at the wall, but completely without any real um, attempt to think it through, you know? Oh, this slaps, though. This is like 1980s, uh, like, top 10 pop love song. What the fuck? I don't remember this song from when we were here previously. Like, you know, this could be the basis of like a really good Vaporwave, Vaporwave remix. I want the rings. In fact, what this really reminds me of is I mentioned previously that I spent a lot of time as a teenager listening to, like, um, various electronic music based remixes of Sonic the Hedgehog uh, themes on uh, on the old newgrounds.com. And what this rem really reminds me of is one of those, actually. Oh, this is the ring challenge version. Right, right, yeah. Uh, hmm. I might be in trouble with that then. Considering I forgot that's what I was trying to do here. Hmm. As police, they are not beholden to the laws of the road, much like in real life. Uh, I do think I want to leave now, though. Yes. Bam, 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 bam. Perhaps we will finally discover if I do, in fact, have a lower score possible. If it's possible to get a lower hey, score than I. Level B missed. So I assume that's equivalent to just level C, surely. You're back. You escaped the uh, terrible sewer infliction. Hello, young man. I would like a burger. What? You don't see many customers who are too nervous to buy a burger. Is she still not asked this man out? How many levels is that? This is something with like the eighth or ninth level. She has. She has been desperately trying to ask this boy out for most of the entire game, and she's... Sounds like she needs a little help from a little blue hedgehog man. That's a good question. I wonder if he can get run over. Whoa, oh fuck, I threw him. Come back. There he is. That was, that was pretty nice. Little two-step. Little, little, little tap. Uh, Alright, I'm just gonna put this here. Okay, right. Okay, they just go straight through him. <laughs> I don't even have a joke for that. Let's see. Let's see if it happens again. Boom. Oh, he shrank. Huh. Will he shrink again? No. I was hoping I could hold up traffic forever. Um, which was one of my favourite things to do back in various instances of the GTA franchise. Um, I, I used to love to just put an object in the road and watch cars stop and beep and eventually get frustrated and try and try and drive around it, bumping into another car, causing the driver of that car to go, Hey, fuck you! Get out of his car and start a fistfight with the first car's driver. Um, just a really fun simulation of reality to fuck around in. I also liked to try and obey the rules of the road. <laughs> this is my wonderful daughter. She keeps me young and optimistic. Dad's home. Dad's back. This is great. I guess they fixed the labor dispute. There don't seem to be any employees here anymore, so I guess they did it in the bad way. If the strike's over, I guess I have to go back to work. Yeah, um, I don't... What, what happened to the striking guys? They were all gone. Oh, hey, you were one of them, right? Did you win? Did you get what you wanted? I'd better get back to work. Thanks for taking the track. Is that it? 
Did you get your demands at least? Oh, you poor bastard. Well, anyway, I think I'm going to head back to Mystic Magic Zone. Hooray! Uh, and then cause problems for uh, an ancient mystical precursor race. Oh, hey, I got pretty high up that vertical wall. That's cool. And then after having caused problems for a mystical precursor race, I'm going to go to bed because my tooth hurts. So speedy. See, once you do get a bit of momentum, you really do feel like you're moving fast. I think if they if they kind of had a hard delineation between very very linear, uh, like speed focused platforming levels for the uh, the action stages, and um, less of a focus on wandering around boringly talking to NPCs, most of whom have nothing whatsoever to say, and a bit more of the kind of like. You know, shunt the Super Mario uh, 3D platformer style platforming away from the action stages and into the adventure field stages. I think that would have been a much better core design for this game. Oops. Well, goodbye. No! What was Egbert Mann's special phrase that he liked to say a lot? Because I've already forgotten it. Ice cap? Oh, hey! Oh, this is- okay, so this is the- This is the ring gathering stage again, then. Okay. The ring gathering alternate version of this stage I already did. I know the next objective is in the jungle. I, I'm not confused about that. I'm intentionally wandering around and looking at stuff because I'm curious about looking at stuff. I did not know you can have a second player play Tales. So I guess the... hmm. Balls. I guess the balls. Can I just... can I just spring straight up here? <laughs> I can! <laughs> I didn't need to be doing that at all. Amazing. Fucking fantastic. Huh, neat. Does that work in this PC port of the game? Or is that- ah, fuck. Uh, or is that just the uh, various console versions? Fuck. Now I don't normally- I don't normally blame my tools as a bad workman. I normally- uh, as a bad- bad- as a mad workman might. But I think in that instance, it's safe for me to say that I lost all my rings because the camera decided to wiggle at an unfortunate moment. And, um... Wiggling at an unfortunate moment is how I lost my wedding ring as well, actually. That's a joke, I don't have a wedding ring. It would be pretty funny, though. My husband was like, how dare you wiggle at other men? And I was like... Well, first off, I'm gay. Why do I have a husband? And he was like, you know, we're supposed to ask that question. Boing. 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 God damn it. Why am I, why am I so bad at this? Boing. Spikes. I'll tell you what, actually, they never did much with the whole spikes thing. Spikes were, you know, for all that Robotnik wanted to be uh, the real supervillain of Sonic the Hedgehog, um, large amounts of steel spikes that appear to be natural, naturally occurring growths in the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog universe, because um, they certainly didn't look like they'd been installed in all of those wild places by, perhaps, an angry super scientist. 
um, were the real threat, frankly. Did that, did that robot have an ejector seat for a pilot? Does he... Does he have robots piling other robots? Piloting other robots? That seems egregious. Oh, <laughs> it seems egregious. So here's a question. What happened to the music? Oh, shite. So yeah, again, the fact that it is full 3D rather than 2.5D um, again causes these problems where you... Uh, the game just kind of casually doesn't uh, track your inputs correctly as the camera swings around um, so that you are misaligned based on the way it sends you flying, but you have no control over the way it sends you flying. You know, you just jump on the bouncy bounce and you bounce. Um, didn't it have music when we entered this zone earlier? I mean, I know it did when we when we played through this zone the first time around. Did it not like ten minutes ago when we or four minutes ago when we entered this zone today? Am I having some kind of a brain situation? Anyway, you jump on this thing and it zooms you along, and uh, if you aren't correctly aligned, or occasionally you will just hit a seam in the level, which is what happened here. I hit a seam on that. Uh, where the f cool, cool. This is normal and fun. Tails, tails, you gotta help me. I've I've seen existence. I've gone beyond forever. Tails, you gotta help me. Our whole existence is but a shadow play. Mere cardboard puppets. Tails. Anyway, so that's basically rendered me unable to complete this level, I suspect. Which is, oh, it, oh, okay, that's replicable. That is consistent. Wowzers. No. Hmm, boy, oh boy. Is that gonna happen every time? Let's see if we line ourselves up slightly differently. So that's what was. This is, Use the panel that's clearly jump. what was supposed Can to happen. Even help guide your way. Anyway, uh, I was doing perfectly fine with regards to potentially winning this level, and now I'm probably not going to be able to beat it. So that's cool. Thanks for that, Sega. If that is your real name. Oh shit, the snowboarding section! I forgot about that. I love snowboarding video games. And I love the desperation with which they applied every radical cool guy with bad attitude. Uh, a tribute of the late 90s and the early 00s to Sonic the Hedgehog. Supposedly there was no like actual kind of reboot of his personality. Um, but people remember 2D Sonic as charming, and 3D Sonic as being full of radical attitude! Um, which is kind of fascinating to me. Because 2D Sonic always had kind of a cheeky de de manner. Um You know, he was very characterfully animated, but I think that um, the fact that he was completely silent did a lot of heavy lifting. Uh, for him coming across as cheeky and charming rather than as full of radical tood. Which, which, you know, goes a long way to explain that perception. If these guys kill me, I'm going to be salty. Anyway, supposedly he was, he was all the same all along, and, um... Sonic, uh, I want to say Generations, which is the Sonic game in which Sonic the Hedgehog 2D and Sonic the Hedgehog 3D actually meet. Um, and you can play through the game as either one of them. Which was actually pretty good. It might not have been Generations. Sonic something. Um, I remember it being hailed as the first good Sonic game in a decade when it came out. Um, 
And it was all right. It wasn't as good as the old 2D ones. You know, I don't think I don't think until Sonic Mania was there a truly really good. Sonic is back to its roots instead of making terrible garbage games for idiots, uh, which is very much what uh, the Sonic franchise's reputation had become, deservedly or otherwise. Aha, the plunger. Time to plunge. Yes. Or indeed plung. Did I successfully plung this time? 959 is a way less. Level B! I did it! I got B! Or is that just that mean that I've completed version B of this level, not that I got a B rank on a level for the first time? Excuse me for burping directly into the microphone. I don't know if the pop filter caught that one. Version B? No! Dark Souls, Dark Souls crone voice. Yes, indeed. The plunger defines the Eggman. The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. But the Eggman was misnamed. For in a dark truth, a fox spoke. But Sonic, his name is Robotnik. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Where's the minecart ride that I need? Was it this one over here, I think? Ah, there we go. Boom. Is this a droppable- oh no, okay. This is kind of a Dark Souls short short shortcut, actually. In many ways, um, Sonic Adventure is the Dark Souls of... Uh, 3D platforming adventure games. And that's only because it's kind of the only one. Everything's got to be the Dark Souls or something. Also, I'm very glad it made you laugh. I'm very pleased with myself. When we enter the jungle, I could have sworn I saw them. Where could the ruins be? Man, I don't know. Where could the ruins be? Buddy, come on, you were so close. Are you really struggling? This way, this way. Pay attention to me. Me, the blue hedgehog that you've never seen before in your goddamn life. Come on. I'm notable, damn it. It's right here. It's right here. Look, see, guy? Come on. Check it out. I'm gonna go talk to a character who I believe was created solely so that Knuckles could have a girlfriend. This seems like a reasonably cool level, even if it is doing the uh, stop-start 3D platforming rather than the cool sprinty stuff. This feels sprinty though. I wonder if these temples are snake themed just so they can justify having long twisty passages. I can't think of another reason why an echidna temple would be snake themed. Because there was an echidna and a snake outside on statues like. Yeah, see this is, this is Sonic the Hedgehog but in 3D. It's more like it. This is what you picture, I think, when someone says, hey, do you want to play a 3D Sonic game? Or at least it's what you would have pictured had you not already played all of the 3D Sonic games because, like, they're terrible but iconic. And everyone's played them now. Ow. Well, shit. No! <laughs> no! Why is Chaos his true form a giant snake? He's just like a cool gloopy guy. He's all blue and squishy and my friend. Also, did the Chows have any, like, presence before, before uh, Sonic Adventure? As in this one, the first one. Because, like, I, I assume they're called the Chows because they're like 
the same kind of thing that Chaos is, or a lesser version, you know, spirits where he's a god, that kind of thing. Um, that was that was my belief as a kid and my assumption. But they also are kind of presented as a fait accompli as far as like, you know, like branding is concerned. They're sort of presented without explanation in this game as if we're supposed to know what they are already. And I'm wondering if this was just a very optimistic marketing attempt to get something sufficiently, like, Pokemon cute, but for Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> yeah, so so their goal was just like, okay, we need, we need something as cute as a Pokemon, but for Sonic the Hedgehog. Forgetting, of course, that the original Sonic the Hedgehog design is pretty cute. And they've got tails, why would they need something better? Press this switch to raise the water level. So this room is a nightmare to most players. Is that because it's a goddamn water temple and everyone always hates the water temple? Press this switch to raise the water level. Does it work twice? Of course. If you are making a Sonic the Hedgehog game, it's very important to remember that you need your players to be able to go fast. So generally it's a bad idea to set your level underwater, where Sonic is notably rather slower than he is in other situations. Other Sonic the Hedgehog situations. Other Hedgehog situations. Yo! I'm starting to see where this level might be a problem for people. No! Oh wow, it takes me all the way back here? Oh, that's not as far as I thought it was. Still, if once if that switch doesn't stay Press switched, I'm going switch to be salty. To can I just actually can I just go press this down here first without fucking around? There's no reason to make this harder than it has to be. Something I am bad at, generally speaking. Snake, 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 snake. Oh, that's back where we started. To raise the water level. Sonic the Hedgehog, he runs very fast. Steppy. Whoa. Huh. Well, I'm underwater now. Can I reach that? No. Maybe I have to be underwater to get up there. Or is that the other side of this path? I don't think anyone's ever liked... I mean, the water temple in Zelda isn't even that bad, but I don't think anyone's ever liked water puzzles. Water levels can be fine, although it's treading a fine line. The difference between uh, a water level and a developer pissing on your level is is quite, quite thin, quite uh, hard to define. Switch number three, which I'm going to hope is up here. I, s I guess I have to use the snake to get across this next bit. I don't think I can make that jump. Snake, 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 snake. Snakey, snakey. Rise and wakey. I thought you said this was a nightmare to most players. This seems a lot easier than you were making it sound. Uh, 
Camera. Thank you. Press this switch to raise the water level. Where's the exit though? The exit door. The egg sit door. The door upon which the Eggman wishes to sit. Perhaps to hatch it. Show me the way, Snakey. Jesus, 40 rings? Never seen one of those before. Ah, beans. No! I'm starting to see why people call this one a nightmare, I say again. My experience of playing video games is just an endless chain of me going, this is easy! And then shortly afterwards going, oh shit, hang on, this is really difficult. Better get ready for that to switch again soon. Jangly jang. Bum -ta -ba, bum -bum -bum -ba. See, I was gonna hmm. I was gonna end the stream, and then I forgot that I was gonna end the stream. So now you're all getting like substandard streaming. Because instead of having enough mental bandwidth to be able to play the game and talk at the same time, I now have to either talk or play. Because my teeth and my jaw are quietly at war. Right then, boat snake. Let's see if we can manage it this time. Well, I mean, this bit I did already manage, of course. I think... No! Sonic! I think that this is... If I'm not mistaken... Bullshit? That's not what I was going to say, but uh, it is. I think that this is a particular kind of snake. I recognize the shape of its eyes. It's of a particular species, which is nice. You know, all things considered. Am I gonna drown? I think I'm gonna drown. Yeah. Probably better for everyone at this point. Oh, hey, that's interesting. That's a, that's a cool glitch that is existing to my advantage. That, that wasn't supposed to happen. I was supposed to drown there. Um, but apparently, the surface layer of the water remains. Even if... Um, even if the water is lower or higher. So I counted as splashing up through the water. That's weird. Switch to free camera. Auto is fucking you up. But auto's me. I'm auto. bum 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 also, my uh, chat connector device keeps dropping again, so I'm probably going to miss a lot of things people say. Where's the next way up? Aha! Ah, oh, beans. Ah, oh, beans. Ah, oh, beans. No! See, the problem is, if I stop, I'll have to do all of this again next time. Bonk. It's probably faster to ride the snake um, than to just walk there, which is what a lot of creepy men in bars will tell you. Did 
No, no, you misunderstand. The snake is the name of my Dodge Charger. At least the music in this is less offensive to my, my poor little ears, even if it is also broadly kind of irritating after a little while, you know, after it's been long enough. How do I get it? I can't believe I keep forgetting, like literally forgetting how you get to the next section of each of these bits. I'm probably supposed to ride the snake every time. Damn you, stream manager. Connect. Connect. I have to know what the people say. Ow. The people say, hey, did you just jump into spikes like an idiot? How long have you been playing Sonic the Hedgehog games? That's like number one thing not to do. Sonic. I wonder if I can get that, uh... Oh, I don't need to get the glitch, because I can just jump high enough to get my little hedgehoggy nose poking up out of the water very briefly. Like a cresting humpback whale arising for oxygen. There's a weird similarity between some elements of this music um, and the music of undersung uh, team-based multiplayer cyberpunk masterpiece. Um... Oh shit, I've completely forgotten what it's called. Anyway, well trust me that there is one. Um, there's like a... I think it's a Counter-Strike mod actually, or it started as one, but there's a... Neo Tokyo, that is the word I am looking for, or the name I am looking for, the proper noun, which as I have established over many streams is just a thing my brain cannot handle. Proper nouns? What are those? Uh, hmm. So I guess... Uh... There we go, that's a bit better. So I guess I need to hop on the snake again. This snake seems rife for getting small parts of your anatomy caught in it. Like, you've ever been nipped by a door frame? That's what I'm talking oh, about. Whoa! Slightly unpredictable, uh... Slightly unpredictable homing attack there. Wow, nice JPEG! <laughs> Alright, everybody, give me two seconds. And I'm back. Sorry about that. I would normally have switched that over to um, the, the the standby while games happen screen, but I I'm very tired, and also it really was only going to be like 20 seconds, so it seemed pointless to switch the music on. Oh, cool! Dark level as well. Cool, cool, cool. Use the mirror to help guide you. Oh, interesting. Aha! Oh, it's a mirror puzzle! I love mirror puzzles. I actually do like puzzles that involve uh, reflecting and bouncing re reflected... Okay. Uh, that involve bouncing reflected light around. I I've always really liked those puzzles whenever they show up in, in games. Usually better implemented, to say the least. No offense, Sonic of Hedgehog. None taken. I didn't design the levels. That was possibly the worst impression anyone's ever done of a of a Sonic the Hedgehog. Hmm. 
Hmm. It uh, does not seem to be reflecting properly. And it will not let me leave this screen until I line it up right. This could also be kind of a problem, but I'm definitely not going through that previous level again, which means that I have to solve it here. Please, please video game. There we go. Okay, thank you. Okay, I've found out the solution. The, the trick to getting through this video game is begging. Okay, the actual trick to, to getting through this video game is to wiggle the... the I nearly said mouse. <laughs> wiggle the 3D stick wildly until it points in roughly the right direction. At which point you'll fall into your death and die again. I think I need to turn auto camera back on actually. I'm just too used to playing with it now. My instinct is for managing the bad camera and I have zero instincts for managing the non-terrible controller. Or perhaps... With it set to free cam, I can simply blame my problems on my tools, like the proverbial bad work when I mentioned previously. Wildly flailing that around rather than trying to do it properly actually does work better. Boom. Boom. Theory proved, bitches. No. Etc. I like that I've just kind of reached the point where I am just disinclined to engage with that one particular enemy. Oh, fireballs, is it? Real original. Oh yeah. Gonna throw fire around in a big circle so I have to jump over it to hit you on the head. I'm simply disinclined to engage. I'm just going to pass on and fly gracefully through the air above your head and just not deal with you whatsoever, because screw you. Screw you, my guy. I do not wish to become toasty. That's a much easier way of getting here. Oh, come on. <laughs> Ugh. It is very easy to tap the A button to jump while you are uh, in midair because you stepped off a paving slab that is about two inches off the ground. So if you step off a paving slab that's very slightly above the ground, you are in mid-air for a fraction of a second before you hit the ground underneath. Um, which, what, oh right. Fireballs. Effective for magic ancient temples, less effective for me personally. Mind you, it's been a while since I tried to cast fireball. What does happen if I run out of lives? Does it send me right back to the start of the game? Or do I get a continue? Whoa, fuck- ah, oh, come on! If I get sent back to the start of the level, I'm... gunzo for today. Um, like, I'm not exactly fun to listen to anymore at this point, because I'm... having trouble focusing because of, uh... the pain playing this video game. Ah, uh, come on. I didn't even hit A twice that time, I swear to god. I swear to chaos. That was one tap of the A button. I haven't died more than once on like any of the levels of this entire game so far, and here I am. That's- this- this is all me. I think I may be tilted. 
Much like this mirror. Woo! to get silly. By silly I mean irritating. By irritating I mean I'm like, why am I still playing video games? You know, I could be doing something important, like working at Sainsbury's. I guess they provided two parts here in case you just are terrible at dealing with the fire enemies, which I'm now starting to suspect I am. Like, I aced it the first several times, and then it's just complete fuck uppery after that point. Oh, you're joking. Fuck! So what happened that time is that I was expecting there to be a platform there. I wasn't expecting it to require me to switch to the light dash, which I have to charge up. Oh boy. Oh, they're actually flaming arrows, not fireballs. That makes more logistical sense, but honestly, it being magic, it makes more sense overall for this temp temple and its magical lighting fire lanterns and so on. Mind you, ancient precursor race, maybe they had gas lamps. Like, this is kind of what I've been saying all along. Sonic is not built, and Sonic's mechanics in this specific video game are not built for precision platforming. Sonic is kind of supposed to be about reaction speed and bouncing off things at exactly the full speed and keeping your momentum over, over like, a long distance. Um, Sonic, I think, works a lot less well when you have to step carefully and line things up. Oh god, that's not even the end of it. Please, I want to get off Mr. Robotnik's wild ride. Better give me a one-up soon. See, at that point, the camera flipped, but the usual built-in automatic, um, like, camera... Like, if you keep pressing forwards, you keep counting as pressing forwards, even if you, even though you move to another direction. That thing didn't trigger. Um, so I was running forwards, and then he immediately span on his heel and stopped. Isn't this where we started? I'm pretty sure this is where we came in in the first place. It certainly looks familiar. Oh, it's a little lion. Just lion on the ground. I couldn't even see that guy. Wow. I don't feel like Sonic the Hedgehog is smart enough to take advantage of slingshot, slingshot gravitational theory, which is presumably why it keeps resulting in me flying off at unfortunate angles. Imagine if Sonic was a physicist, though. We could have hit the moon by now. You know, this guy's got Delta V for days. Use the switch to light up the wall panels. You the can switch? Lock on those panels when lit. Define light up. Ah. Okay, well that's that's fair enough, okay. Okay. 
playing weird with gravity today. This is like when you when you're playing a like a an action an action roguelike and you get uh, cursed and it and it switches your control directions suddenly when you're not expecting it. Once again, a lot of good ideas and fun designs in this video game. Um, combined with a lot of really peculiar decisions that I cannot recommend. Huh, question mark. I don't think I've seen that before. Maybe that's the one, maybe it was a question mark one that gave me 40 earlier. Ah, oh, fuck off. <laughs> That's the long way down. Rolling around at the speed of sound. I've got places to go. I've got to follow my rainbow. Something, something. 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 Ahead. Got to follow my road ahead? I think that's how it is. No time for... No time for something. Gotta follow my road ahead. I believe that's some of the lyrics to the extremely good song from Sonic the Adventure Hedgehog and his great hedgehog adventure episode to battle. No time for guessing. Yeah, that's the one. I straight up used to do my homework in what, to anyone listening, would probably better recognise as mid middle school, uh, with sound test mode on and listening to listening to the soundtrack of um, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Whoa, gravitational sling slingshotting again. Um, particularly that one song, which I doubt I doubt don't doubt drove my parents insane. Which is perhaps why they chose to pass insanity on to me. Although they're, you know, sensible, full-ass, full, full -ass grown up adults who have proper lives and respectable jobs, and I am this. Oh, come on. <laughs> Did Hidetaka Miyazaki work on this? Sure is Sen's fortress up in here. I like that you warned me about the other room, but this one you didn't say a word about. Yeah, that's the secret advantage to living in the same house as a streamer you like. I recommend everyone everyone on stream move in with me so that we can coordinate the efforts to make me the most popular streamer in Northwestern Scotland. Um, Actually, I wonder how many people are on that chain above me. It's got to be, like, at least a few hundred, right? Like, how many streamers are there in Aberdeen? And how how much more popular are they than I? You know, first first Aberdeen, then Grampian, then uh, Western Northeastern Scotland, and then the world! Using an array of motherfucker! I'm starting to think this ancient super sci-fi technology was in fact kinda shite. Perhaps this is why perhaps this is why this legendarily advanced uh, ancient people like aren't here anymore. Like they gave up. They got fucking fed up of their own stupid technology and decided to ollie out it, like. We can make magic temples where you can walk up the walls. Oh, cool. Does it work? Not really! We've revolutionized public transport, but it's so inconvenient, most people just walk anyways. Also, I'm a wizard, probably. 
Actually, I think Tikal might be a shaman, so I'm only like 30% joking on that one. No, the same thing again! <laughs> I want to go home. I want to curl up in, in bed with some kind of delicious ginger drink in order to soothe my severely damaged lungs and vocal cords, which still haven't recovered nearly a year after my last bout of COVID. But here I am, stuck in this curse I made for myself. It's all very well for you to say exercise patience. You're not the one who has to go up, at the, up the walls at stupid angles. Where it constantly changes what... Which direction the button I'm pushing moves the character I'm moving. That's the toughest thing about this. I mean, look, I've mastered it up to a specific point. I'm not having trouble getting back up, you know? Um, something a lot of uh, husbands tend to say in the bedroom. And other jokes from 1992! Let's have a big hand, ladies and gentlemen, for... for Gags people used to make back before they knew what comedy really was. Motherfucker. I'm losing my mind. <clears throat> I'm gonna stop talking this time. I'm just gonna... Well, after a certain point, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna see... If I stop and I take it slow and I exercise patience and focus and concentration and all of the other things that are not marked on my goddamn character sheet because I'm me and I have ADHD, you know, which seems to outweigh the autism in these things. Um... All right, let's let's think about this logically. So here I am. Here's where I'm going. Here I am walking very carefully and slowly. And every time the camera moves, I realign. And now how low do I have to be on this for that not to hit me? Because it's knocked me off most of the times I've come this way. Is this it? Am I through? I'm, have I done it? Huzzah! Hedgehogs all around. I think hedgehog used to be a delicacy, actually. Did the Romans eat hedgehog? I know they ate dormouse. I'm gonna assume this is another light path. Meow. Now that's speedy. Why can't it all be like that? That would be more appropriate to Sonic. Oh, oh god. Woo, we broke a thousand. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> And that's another C rank. I am definitely of the opinion it's impossible to do worse than C rank. I feel like mystical grandeur doesn't really fit 3D Sonic and his attitude. Wow, what's this? A mural. 3D Sonic should be all, you know, um skateboards and monster trucks. 2D Sonic can have a bit of, of grandeur, but like only as a tiling backdrop. Oh cool, a mystical vision of a terrible fate befalling What's an entire people. Where am I? This is really weird. Whoa, my badical raditude hasn't in any way prepared me for dealing with some kind of mystical experience opening my soul to the wider windows of the cosmos. I'm starting to become deeply uncomfortable with this experience. Oh well, time to speed up. Meow. Are you fucking kidding me? Was there like a chow genocide? Is this the thing I was told was the edgiest thing to be in a Sonic the Hedgehog game? Have to happen. 
It's terrible. I must stop this now. This had to happen because it's 2002 and Edge is the only thing that the marketing departments will allow to be in video games. What was that all about? They still look delicious even when they're all burnt I'm and orange. Here. I guess you could say it's mm -hmm. time to chow down. Eggman. If that provokes her to come What's back into the living room here? and hit me with a cardboard tube, you'll probably this hear it on stream. Oh no, what's Eggman up to? Probably more evil stuff, given all the evil stuff he's been doing today. Oh hey, check it out. That's cool, that wasn't there before. Is that like a... I like the spotlights, it gives the energy of like a... like a movie premiere. Anyway, before I go check out um, Eggman at the Oscars, a very entertaining skit done by some very boring and uninteresting uh, celebrities who were exactly B-list enough to get get invited to do Oscar skits, but not A-list enough for anyone to care. Uh, there's a joke here that I'm working towards, but I've forgotten what it was, and I don't care. Anyway, so that was a pretty painful ending today to today's stream. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, anyone watching this who hasn't already should go check out my YouTube channel. Give me a follow there, give me a follow here, especially if you like my stuff. Um, and if you like my stuff, you can uh, give a little back by sharing my channel and recommending me to people. That's probably the most important thing anyone can ever do for me at the moment. But also, thank you to my Patreon patrons and my coffee donators. And uh, if you wish to become one of those, all of the information, including for my other stuff, is all on my About page, which you should check out because I made it look pretty and nice and explain who I am and what I do. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here and, you know, laughing uproariously at the terrible things to befall me, my disastrous fate. Um, which is presumably what's going on over there, a disastrous fate. That's a pun because a fate is like a festival. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's all from me. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.